Corteva AgriScience is a trusted partner to farmers worldwide. We are committed to the discovery and development of effective solutions that farmers can rely on to boost productivity and profitability in a safe and sustainable manner. The advances in our crop protection pipeline demonstrate our global R&D capabilities to deliver innovative products to farmers that help them keep pace with the ever-shifting weed pressure in cereal crops. Corteva has successfully launched many innovative herbicides for cereal growers, giving them an effective set of tools to manage difficult to control weeds. This presentation has been put together to give some of the background information related to many commonly used herbicides that Corteva sell today. For each of the active ingredients, fluoroxypa, fluorazulam, aralex and pyroxylam, we will review the discovery, mode of action, symptomology, key products and main uses in UK agriculture, with the aim of giving you a greater depth of knowledge of these important products. Fluoroxypa. Fluoroxypa was discovered by Dow Chemicals in 1976 and commercialised in the UK in 1984 under the brand name Starain 2. Today, it is used globally on crops as diverse as cereals, maize, sorghum and pasture. It is also used as an industrial herbicide. In certain geographies, it is used to control weeds in orchard crops. In the UK, it is currently sold as a 333 grams active ingredient formulation Starain High Load. Fluoroxypia is a group 4 herbicide, an auxin mimic. It's a member of the pyridine carboxylate family. The formulated products are esters which are converted to the acid form in the plant. Both the ester and acid forms display herbicidal activity. The HRAC mode of action chart shows the position of fluoroxypia in the auxin mimic group. Chloroxypia is absorbed by the foliage of growing plants where it is rapidly converted to the acid form. It then moves mainly via the phloem system to the meristems which are the main site of action. Symptoms usually appear rapidly and are typical of plant growth regulator activity. They include thickened, curved and twisted stems, cupping and crinkling of the leaves, hard calluses, stem cracking and proliferation of growth. Plant death is usually slow but generally occurs within five weeks. This slide illustrates typical fluoroxypia symptoms in treated weeds. The primary means of degradation and breakdown of fluoroxypia in the soil is via aerobic microbial action. Typically, the half-life in the soil is between one and four weeks. Dissipation is more rapid when the soil temperature and moisture are conducive to microbial growth. The main target weeds for fluoroxypia in cereals are cleavers, where it can be used late in the season up to before flowering. Typically, it is applied in combination with other herbicides, usually the sulfonylureas. It is the only herbicide that will control ALS-resistant chickweed and is extremely effective against black nightshade and black bindweed. It performs better when conditions are warm and is typically applied at between 100 and 150 grams active ingredient per hectare. In addition, there is an extensive range of emus available for oxypire, including uses on outdoor onions, leeks, garlics, shallots and crops grown for game cover. It is also used around fruit trees such as apple, almond, walnut and pear trees. Fluoroxypia is sold alone as starring high load and in combination with other active ingredients in products such as Spitfire, which includes Verazulam, and Pixaro, which includes Aralex. Florazulam. Florazulam was discovered in the early 1990s as a foliar herbicide for use in cereals. The first registration was granted in Israel in 1998, 
with approval in Europe granted in 1999. It is used as a herbicide alone or in combination with other active ingredients such as fluoroxifer, clopyrrolid and more recently Aralex. Fluoragulam is a triazolopyrimidine herbicide from group 2, the acetolactase synthase inhibitors, otherwise known as the ALS inhibitors. These herbicides work by blocking the site of action of the ALS enzyme preventing the biosynthesis of amino acids and consequently stopping cell division. This slide shows the position of fluoragulam in the HRAC mode of action chart. Fluoragulam is absorbed primarily via the foliage of growing plants. It is mobile in both the xylem and phloem tissue, quickly accumulating in the primary and secondary meristems where it acts by preventing cell division. Although growth stops within hours, herbicidal symptoms may not be evident for several days. Complete death of the plant may take up to six weeks. If the plant is not actively growing, such as in dry conditions, herbicidal activity may be limited. These images show the uptake of radioactively labelled fluoragulam, showing movement from the roots into the foliage within 72 hours. The first symptoms appear in the upper meristematic region of the plant as chlorosis or reddening. The upper leaves then take on a wilted appearance which gradually spreads to the remaining parts of the plant. There may also be death of the growing point Growth inhibition is very rapid, but complete death of the plant may take up to seven to 10 days. Here are some images of typical symptoms of fluoragulam. Degradation in the soil is by aerobic microbial action. The half-life in the soil is typically within 18 days. Soil temperature and moisture will both impact degradation rates. Fluoragulam has a broad weed spectrum which includes difficult weeds such as cleavers and brassica weeds such as charlock, runch and hedge mustard. It also has strong activity against volunteer beans which is a key use for fluoragulam in the autumn. It can be applied earlier than fluoroxypire for cleaver control and is commonly used at between 0.1 to 0.15 litres product per hectare. It is sold alone or in combination with other active ingredients such as fluoroxypire in Spitfire or Aralex in Zypar. Aralex Aralex was discovered by Dow Chemicals in 2005 and launched in the UK in 2016 in combination with fluoroxifier under the brand name Pixaro. A further combination with fluoragulam, known as Zypar, was launched in 2017. Both products now form the backbone of cereal weed control in the UK. Aralex is the first member of a new class of synthetic auxin herbicides the aryl picolinates. Aralex acts by mimicking auxins in plants, binding to specific auxin receptors in the cell's nucleus. The Aralex active ingredient exists in the ester form, which is converted to the acid form within the plant. The table shows the position of Aralex in the HRAC mode of action classification table. Aralex mimics the effect of persistent high doses of natural plant hormones, auxins, causing overstimulation of specific auxin-related genes. It is absorbed primarily through the leaves of susceptible species, being rapidly translocated into the active acid form within the plant. It travels through the vascular system, accumulating in the growing points of the plant. 
Once bound to the auxin receptors in the cell nucleus, it causes a cascade of unregulated growth within minutes of application. Growth is stopped within hours, but symptoms may not be observed for several days. Death may take up to six weeks, depending on environmental conditions. Susceptible plants stop growing almost immediately. Symptoms include distortion, stunting and chlorosis, followed by necrosis and death. Complete death will occur in two to three weeks under optimal conditions, longer under adverse conditions such as prolonged cold. Aralex does perform better than phenoxy or SU herbicides when applied early in the season when cold. The following images show typical Aralex symptoms. The primary means of degradation is through aerobic microbial action. Degradation is rapid with an average DT50 of one and a half days. The advantage of this is that there is little or no residual carryover, allowing most crops to be planted the following season. Aralex is only sold in combination with other active ingredients such as fluoroxypire in Pixaro and fluoragulam in Zypar and with picloram as belcar in oilseed rape. In cereals, it is used to control difficult broadleaf weeds such as cleavers, cranesbill and ALS resistant weeds such as poppy and chickweed. Typically, Aralex is applied at six grams active per hectare. The other benefit of Aralex based products is that unlike other synthetic auxin herbicides, Aralex is not significantly influenced by temperature, so control may be achieved under both cold or warm conditions. Efficacy is optimised when applied with an adjuvant. This chart illustrates the relative use periods of Corteva broadly weed herbicides. Boxer is used as an early season product with star in high load being used later in the season when warm. Spitfire may be used throughout the season as it is a combination of both fluoragulam and fluoroxypire. Aralex containing projects such as Zypar and Pixaro offer season long weed control. Combinations with clopyrrolids such as Galaxy have a narrower use window between mid-March and mid-June. Galaxy is used to control ALS-resistant corn marigold, for example. Pyroxylam. Pyroxylam was discovered in the late 80s as a cross-spectrum herbicide controlling wild oats, ryegrass and brome species, as well as having activity on an extensive range of broadleaf weeds. Commercialised in the UK in 2009, it is sold alone as Avocet or in combination with Florazulam as Broadway Star. It is an ALS inhibitor in the triazolopyrimidine family that acts by binding to the active site of the ALS enzyme, preventing the biosynthesis of amino acids and consequently preventing cell division. The HRAC chart shows the position of pyroxylam as a group 2 herbicide. Pyroxylam is absorbed mainly by the foliage of growing plants. Mobile in both xylem and phloem, it accumulates in the meristems, where it acts by halting cell division. Growth is stopped almost immediately, but death occurs relatively slowly, taking up to four weeks. Symptoms include stunting, chlorosis of the growing point, often accompanied by reddening of the leaf veins. Complete death is much slower than other herbicides and typical symptoms can be seen in the following images.
The half-life of pyroxylam is between 1 to 14 days and the primary path of degradation is via aerobic microbial action. Degradation rates will be slower if conditions are dry or temperatures are cold. Pyroxylam is used primarily for the control of brome, ryegrass and wild oats in spring. It has a broad spectrum of activity against broadleaf weeds too, including some difficult broadleaf weeds such as brassica species, umbelliferae, cranesbill and poppies. Typically it is applied at 18.75 grams active ingredient per hectare for grass weed control. It is sold alone as Avocet or in combination with Florazulam as Broadway Star. Pyroxylam requires actively growing weeds to work effectively. Cold, dry conditions with impact levels of control. An adjuvant should always be included when applying Broadway Star. Driven by customer feedback and our commitment to continuously improve our products, our scientists, in collaboration with other global experts, continue to make breakthroughs in the products available to cereal growers. We hope you found this presentation useful. To find out more about our solutions, please visit www.corteva.co.uk or contact one of our team. Thank you.